Well, first and foremost, I want to start off giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. All right, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Um, Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son who the world anybody calls Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit. Um, I'm not going to make this too too long, but uh, oh, oh. Also, I want to give double honors to the other apostles of GMS at Real Well, because that's where we learn this truth from. And I want to say shalom to Akim YSO, YSO Nashville. Um, you know, that's my brothers in the spirit. And, uh, you know, also, also, you know, shalom to all the sincere Akim that's out here pushing this word and all truth and sincerity. All right, so shalom, shalom. Um, you know, I'm going to make this video real quick, man. I don't want to make it too long, because I know... Um, you know what I'm saying? The the, the inner world is gonna be flooded right now with this same same content, and I don't want to, uh, you know, be a, you know, be linked in any way, shape, or form with the nonsense. But this, uh, you know, this is on my spirit. One of my brothers just reached out to me because I you know, I was posting some stuff on uh on Instagram. Um, so shout out my brother, I hit you back. Uh, but anyway, um, nah, I just want to do a quick video, man, because one of our uh, you know, one of our brethren, you know what I'm saying, um, of Israel, you know, whether he's a, a brother in the spirit, but, a, you know, brother in the flesh, uh, definitely, you know, DMX, all right, Earl Simmons, has passed on to the spirit world. Now, we uh, we know, you know what I'm saying, or we feel uh, that, you know, this brother was, um, well, the brother was famous, you know, we know he was a, a, a heavy hitter in the, in the rap game for a while, and being that is, is the case, you know, this brother probably, um, this brother probably has some, uh, it's lucky, it's checking the, um, recording. And being that's the case, you know, this brother was probably, you know, dealing with some, dealing with some things early on in his career, um, that, you know, had him, uh, way on the left hand side, uh, most likely. Um, and if you, you know, followed his career in any way, shape, or form, you also know that uh, the brother had a lot of demons that he was battling, you know what I'm saying, which uh, which inspired his music, um, but, you know, hey, that's that, that's on the music side, man, and real, you know, real life, you know what I'm saying, the brother had a lot of demons he was trying to, he was trying to battle, man, so, you know, uh, long story short, you know what I'm saying, things caught up with him, um, whether, whether it was through deceit, you know what I'm saying? And, and, the, uh, you know, shifty, crafty ways of the devil, you know what I'm saying? Or if it was just, well, it's all, it was all through, you know what I'm saying? Through, uh, through craftiness of the devil, man, because it's Babylon, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, this world has been given into the hands of the wicked pursuing the Job 924. So we know that that's, that's how it goes, man. And this, uh, in this world, but you know, it's things like tax fraud, all that type of BS, man, that they throw on, uh, brothers specifically, you know what I'm saying? When we, uh, you know, when brothers get famous, that's the type of shit they try to put on like they did Wesley Snipes, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, again, I don't want to be too long-winded. He went to prison for that, for that tax fraud, got out, you know what I'm saying? Got out of prison, and he probably got gotten that, that tax fraud BS because what? He wasn't trying to go with the program, you know what I'm saying? DMX, you know, even though he's a, he's a, he's a rapper, you know what I'm saying? brother's intelligent you know what i'm saying just because you were rapping on me you're not intelligent the brother was intelligent you know what i'm saying and um he probably knew that the life he was leading was was going to lead to nowhere but destruction man you heard a lot of that type of type of uh you know things in his raps man you know he knew that the shit that he was doing doing was right and uh you know getting into that satanic music game you do stuff that's just not even not just right abominable man not even just criminal you know what i'm saying now you now you're doing abominable acts against the most high you know what I'm saying? You get in that rap game. So he probably realized that, you know, um, didn't want to do it. Went to prison on tax fraud. That was that that was their warning. Got out of prison. Still wasn't trying to uh, you know, play the game exactly how they wanted him to play it. You know what I'm saying? And uh here we are today, you know what I'm saying? He's in the spirit world, you know, and they, they probably threw that that uh you know, that O D on him, you know what I'm saying? You know, the O D didn't take him out uh straight away. But, you know, put him in that vegetative-like state, and here we are today, man. So, um, but it's kind of it's kind of weighing weighing heavy, and I, I feel like the reason that is is because about two months ago, 
he was at a camp in New York. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the uh, with the elder apostles, GMS. You know what I'm saying? I think the uh, camera pans. I think it was. I think it was the elder apostles camp. I know it was in New York though. The camera pans over, and they say, "Oh, that's DMX. DMX is standing there." You know what I'm saying? DMX is standing there. You know what I'm saying? You know, as, as, as like they say, as they live and breathe. Okay, as he as he lived and breathed, he was standing there. You know what I'm saying? And hey, that was the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Probably giving them a chance to repent. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Here's the thing, man. We all got a got a chance to repent, right? So you know your your steps are ordered. Man's goings are of the Lord, and and your steps are ordered. You know what I'm saying? So this man, you know, is dead at fifty. At fifty, you know what I'm saying? Physically dead, right? At the age of fifty, hey, that was you know that was set. But in that time period, he had a chance to repent. You know what I'm saying? You know, so that that time he was at camp, that might have been his chance to repent. Now, did he repent? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But that may have been his chance to repent. You know what I'm saying? I hope so. I hope he did repent. You know? I hope he did repent, man. That might that that was probably his chance. Why why I mean there's no coincidences, you know what I'm saying? Here you are marked, you know? Here you are marked and you know, not even not even uh you know, sixty days before before you end, you at a camp. You know what I'm saying? The camp. Not just a camp, you at the camp. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that that's that's the most high, man. That's the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? So again, I don't want to make this too too long winded, man, but you know that that's my hope, you know what I'm saying? And 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 I felt that, you know, hey, just do a video, you know what I'm saying, get it off. Hey, you know, everything's in the hands of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? It's that you know, his walk was his walk, you know, my walk is my walk, and 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 every brother has has their own walk, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's gotta work out their own salvation, you know, with fear and trembling. You know what I mean? So, hey, you know, it, it is it is what it is at this point, man. But, um, again, I just felt in the spirit to bring out a few scriptures, man. You know, and hope, you know, Lord willing, you know, everybody take take a little something from this. Um, these are these are well-known scriptures, though. Let me get uh, Isaiah 55. Go ahead and make this real quick, man. And, and you know, Lord willing... You know, somebody received some uh, some edification from it. You know, my two cents on the on the whole DMX thing. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, man, you know, um, you know the scriptures the scriptures go out. You know what I'm saying? The word goes out. You know, that's the ultimate thing, man. Because what happens on this side, really, you know, it is it is what it is, man. You know, is uh, Isaiah 55 verse six. Hey, it says, you know what I'm saying? Just quick and simple, man. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Okay? And so he was near, he was near at that time. You know what I'm saying? When he appeared at that camp, man. You know? When DMX appeared at, at that camp, hey, the Lord, the Lord was near at that time. You know what I'm saying? The word, the word's being brought out. You know, you got the witnesses right there. That's the church, man. You know, so the Lord was in the midst. You know. Hey, so seek ye the Lord, man. That, hey, that, that could have been DMX right there, seeking the Lord. He, he didn't have to stop. He was stopped. He was listening. You know what I'm saying? So at that time, he was hearkening. You understand? So, you know, seek ye the Lord while he is near. You know? You know what I'm saying? Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. See that? Okay. So if he so if he sought or if any, any man seeks, you know, and forsake forsake your unrighteous ways, man, seek seek the Lord, man. Hey, he, he's gonna have mercy upon you, man. Have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly abundantly pardon. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You can't look for Trump to pardon. You can't look for Biden to pardon. You know what I'm saying? You can't look. You, can you look to this damn judicial system to pardon you? Look, he wasn't pardoned of his. Supposed tax fraud, right? That bullshit. All right. So you gotta understand. There's only one. There's only one who pardons. Okay. Really and truly, man. Okay. There's only one who pardons really and truly, man. All right. That's your how about Shimmy Al Shai. That's it. You know. So you gotta look to the Lord, man. All right. 
in the, in the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, man. All right? It's not Yahweh. Okay? It's not Jah. All right? Whatever the hell else you want to call it, man. All right? So you got to seek the Lord, man. Seek him while he is near. Okay? Because in, in, in Babylon, especially if you in, if you in that game, man, the, the Lord the Lord is far from that, man. The Lord is far from that, man. You got Hasatan on your ass in that in that uh, in that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Waiting, waiting to uh to, to devour you, man. Eat your ass up. You know. So you got to look to the Lord, man. You got to seek Him while He is near, and and He was there. He was there. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, not not at at, at just any camp, but at the camp, man. And why do I say the camp? Because GMS has 100% truth, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got a lot of sincere, sincere I came out here. You got a lot of sincere brothers. Okay. But he was at the camp that has passed down a lot of this truth to so many I can, you know, hey. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we say the camp, man. Alright? But he was he was around he was around sincere, sincere brethren that were pushing out that truth, man. Alright, bottom line. Alright. So like, let me pull this, pull this other one here. You know the brother, the brother, uh, the brothers out of here, man. Hey, and you know what, man? Hey, this place is wicked anyway, man. You know, I think. Uh, so it was, it was Apostle Tahar I was watching, uh, not too long ago. He said, "Hey, look, you know, he's in that vegetative state. You know, what I'm saying he, when he comes out of it, he may not be." Uh, When he comes out of that uh, vegetative state, you know, he's not going to be the same DMX anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, what is it if you just go on into the spirit world, man? You know what I'm saying? Hey, and I, I agree. You know, I agree. You know, very few people come out of that vegetative state the same, man, especially at the age the age that he was at. You know what I'm saying? If you're a young, if you're a young cat, you know, you come back, you know, you might still have, 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 uh, a lot of life ahead of you, you know what I'm saying? So you're not you're not coming back, you know, as a vegetable out of that vegetative state. You might come back, you know, a little out of it, but you can pretty much still gain your bearings, you know what I'm saying? As the same, you know, same as you were before or get back to where you were before. But at that age, man, you know, it's it's pretty much a wrap for you anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just go ahead and pass on, man. Get the hell out of, you know, get the hell out of Babylon uh, you know, on this side. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, right? This is, uh, this is Acts. Okay, and I'm going to just jump to, uh, i will just jump to, uh, verse 19, man. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Okay, I mean, you have to change. Okay, that your sins be blotted out. When the times are refreshing, what's that time of refreshing, man? All right, when this place is judged, man. All right, when this place is wiped clean off the face of the earth as we know it right now, okay, when Babylon is destroyed, that's the only place this way this uh, only way this place is going to be refreshed, man. All right, and the hopeful elect, the men of the Lord, okay, the 144,000 get those spiritual powers, all right, to do major damage, man. All right, that's the only place this place is going to refresh, man. All right, because this place is is stained with blood, man. Okay, the blood of this place cries out to you. How about Shimei Al Shai? All right, so. This place isn't going to be refreshed uh, in any way, shape, or form except by fire and and uh, and the sword, man. Okay, major destruction is coming to this place, man. That's the refreshing that it's talking about. Okay, it's not talking about a cool breeze uh, uh, blowing across the oasis. Okay, it's not talking about damn uh, fresh fresh linen scent being dropped down from from on high. Okay, it's talking about blood, death, and destruction, man. Okay, that's coming to this place, man. Okay, the blood, the blood is going to be so high, man. You're going to be wading through it in some places, man. Okay, stepping over bodies. All right, and that's righteous. All right. Acts three nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Verse twenty. And ye shall send Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which Yahweh hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Okay. 
All right, but the key verse there was repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out, okay? So that's 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 the key thing, man. That's the gospel right there, man. Okay? That your sins can be blotted out, man. That's the good news. Okay? Cuz what what other chance what other chance do you have, man? All right? Like that like like the uh like the old saying goes, man, you don't have a snowman's chance in hell. Okay? Of making it out of this thing. Except it be through your Hawashai, man. Okay? In this world and the next. Okay? But to hell with this world, man. You know? You gotta look towards the kingdom, man. Okay? You can't worry about your about your life on this side. You seek your life on this side, you're gonna lose it in the kingdom. Alright? So that's so that's 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 where we're at, man. All right, that knowing the times is high time to awake out of sleep. That's the time. That's the time you gotta be in, man. All right. Hopefully DMX was in that mind state. Hope hopefully Earl Simmons was in that mind state, man. All right, it's time to uh, uh, get out of this shit, man. Okay. Come out of her. All right. My people be not partakers of of her. Uh, you know, of her destruction. You know what I'm saying? Roughly paraphrase, man. You know. That's 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 the mind state we gotta be in, man. All right, to come out of this place, and like I said, hopefully Earl Simmons was in that was in that mind state, okay. To come out to come out of this place, man. Hopefully that's why he was standing there, hearkening unto the words, you know, of the elders as they were coming out, man. All right, let me go back. Got uh, just bring out one more scripture. I think it's you know, again I don't want to be uh, long winded. Uh, you know, but this is this is hey, this is for this is for everybody, man. You know, we all we all gotta be in this mind state, man. You know? Because that brother came out came out of uh came out of prison, you know, wanted to stay clean, you know what I'm saying? I think he might have he might have, you know, dibbled and dabbled again, you know, in some drugs or whatever, you know. Might have looked back, you know. But like I said, in his final days, he was at the camp hearkening, okay? Because ain't no, ain't no form of rehab going to save you, man. Ain't no form of rehab going to save you. Ain't no pardons going to save you. Ain't nothing going to save you on this side, man. Ain't nothing going to save you on this side and definitely not on the next, except Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, man. You know? Hopefully Earl Simmons understood that, and that's why he was at that camp, man. You know? And I feel like that brother really did hearken, man. Whether, whether he went home and cracked open a book, you know what I'm saying? Or you know what I'm saying, went home, you know, got on, got online, you know what I'm saying, started look, looking up some uh, some videos, things like that, you know, might have had some conversations with with a brother from from who knows where, you know what I'm saying. The man was watched. We know that. We know once you get in that game, you make a certain amount of money. They watch you for life. You know what I'm saying. It's almost it's almost like you was in the military or something. Once you once you take that blood oath, it's almost like you in a got a top secret clearance. They watching you for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying to make sure you're not divulging the secrets. You know, so this man was online looking up, looking up the brother's GMS. How he know they they was out there? How he know where they were at? You know, the brother's from New York, so you know he probably knew where they was at, seen them before. You know what I'm saying? But you know, either way it goes, man. He, he's follow, he was followed and he's watched. They all are. You know what I'm saying? Once you make a certain amount of money, you know, they watch you, plain and simple. You know. And not even not even a certain amount of money. The certain amount of money comes as a result of the secret uh, uh, oaths and things that you've taken. That's why they watch you. You know, they care less about watching you for the money because they control the money anyway. It's all computer, computerized. Uh, uh, you know, it's all computerized, man. You know what I'm saying? A sequence of uh, ones and zeros. They can they can flood you with money. They can take it. You know what I'm saying? You go to the ATM one day. You got you know, two million dollars go to go to the ATM the next day. You got twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't worried about the money. They are watching the brother because of because of the oaths he took. You know what I'm saying? The things the things that he saw, people that he dealt with. You know, the stories that he could tell. He wasn't trying to tell. He wasn't he wasn't trying to deal on the left hand demonic side no more. You know what I'm saying? After you after you decide you don't want to do that no more, you're of no use. You know, Whitney Houston was about to go gospel before they took her ass out. You know, she was about to go to gospel, you know, whether, whether it was, uh, you know, 
watered down Christianity or not, that that's that's not that's of no use to them. Okay, they set you up how they want to set you up. You don't go with the program, you ain't no use no more. Point blank, period, man. You know, so hopefully Earl Simmons understood, you know, what time it was, you know, and was like, eh, well, you know, hey, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm rolling with the Lord, man. Period. You know, come what may. You know, can't be afraid to lose your life on this side. You know, I don't think Earl Simmons was a man who was afraid to lose his life. You know what I'm saying? But he was afraid, okay, very possibly of what awaited him, okay, after he awoke from the spirit world to judgment. You see? Verse, uh, this is Jeremiah 31. Hey, this is Jeremiah 31, verse 19, man. And I, I, you know, I feel like this is a, a um, so I can it's probably, uh, my camera, my camera probably about to, uh, about to shut off here in a minute. I think my battery, uh, my battery is low, but. But anyway, 31 and 19 equals 50, man. So, you know, I'm not big in the, uh, in the numerology or anything like that. But, you know, um, the way the Most High orders things, uh, there are no coincidences. So, you know, uh, you know, this verse right here just, just stood out. This is Jeremiah 31 and 19. Um, surely, surely after that I was turned, I repented. And after that, I was instructed. I smote upon my thigh. Okay. So surely after he understood, okay, that, that he's a Hebrew Israelite. Okay. And he was turned and, 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 and he repented of what he was done. He said, what? I smote upon my thigh and I was ashamed. Yeah, he was probably ashamed for the music that he's put out, all the people that he's led astray. Okay. The things things that he said. Okay. Some of the abominable acts that he, that he uh, possibly done. Okay, and he smote upon his thigh. Okay, he was ashamed. Yea, even confounded. Okay, stupefied. Like, damn, how could I? How could I have even done that? How could I have set myself up like that, man? How could I have been so damn wicked, you know? And so bamboozled, man, by money, you know? When now I, I really don't have anything to show for it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, for all that, I really don't have nothing to show for it, man. Even confounded because I did bear the reproach of my youth. Okay? Yeah, he bears the reproach of his youth. Because when he was a young man, okay? When he was a young man, his old his old ideology was get money, get money. Alright? He even had a song called Money Cash Holes. Alright? Featuring Jay-Z or, or or you know, vice versa. You know what I'm saying? But the song's called Money Cash Holes. That's the old that's the whole ideology, man. That's the whole idea. You know, when you're a young man out there, you know what I'm saying, being a nigga, you know, so, you know, seeking after the things of this world, man, vain, vain things, money, cash, hoes, man, you know, so it said, uh, surely after that I was turned, okay, and after that I was instructed, okay, got some instruction by who, okay, Yahweh by Shemi al Shai through the uh, words of the apostles and the elders, okay, Said after that I was instructed, I smote upon my thigh. I was ashamed, yea, even confounded. Okay? Confounded. Because I did bear the reproach of my youth, man. So, you know, again, um, hopefully he, he understood that. You know, understood that that, you know, that was a reproach, that was a shame. And you know what? It's time to come out of that, man. You know what I'm saying? And get back, get back into the word, understanding of who you are, and try and make that change. Like the scriptures say, be ye converted. Okay? Try and make that change, man. So that your merch, so that the uh, Lord can can uh, forgive you and have mercy. You know, have mercy, man. And and we, and we and we all seeking for that, man. We all seeking for that. You know what I'm saying? We all seeking for that, man. All right. But um, I can barely even see uh, I can barely even see my recording right now. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom.